In this video I'm going to show how to fix an error that you might find with Firebase Cloud Firestore, and that is invalid document reference. Document references must have an even number of segments, but then a certain path has three. So first a quick answer, and this might just answer your question. This error tends to occur when you have a one-to-many relationship as we have here, where you have a collection, a document, a collection, a document, a collection, and a document. And essentially the reason for the error is that you're passing an empty string into one of these documents. So if that answers your question, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you want a bit more information, let me describe this a bit more. Here's a look at the Firebase Cloud Firestore database online, and you see that we have users, and then a collection of users. Each user has a specimen, and then there's a specific specimen. Each specimen has one or many events, and then, e then there's the event object, and then each event can have one or many photos attached to it. So you see that we have a cascading series of one-to-many relationships happening. Now, if I create a brand new specimen, which is high on that hierarchy, let's go ahead and say East. We'll pick the old Eastern Redbud. And now what I'm going to do, I've created a specimen Eastern Redbud. I'm going to attach a photo to it, which is going to create an event, and then going to create a photo. Now you notice when I click that, that this new row appeared right here, and here's our specimen. You see that's an Eastern Redbud. And it has some unique ID generated by Firebase. I can go to events, and then I can go to photos, and then I can see information about that photo. Now this is happy path. This is how everything should work because you see that the photo has a unique identifier. The event rather has a unique identifier. Sure enough, we can go back to the specimen and we saw a unique identifier for that as well. But the error that we're talking about occurs only when you're passing an empty string for a unique identifier. So let me demonstrate that. We'll create a new plant, let's say yellow cucumber tree, and again I'll just add in a couple of uh, foo and October 2020 for instance, and then take a photo. This time though I've set a breakpoint so that I can go in and manipulate the data that it's actually using. Now you notice that a breakpoint has stopped, and we see collection document, collection document, collection document, so on and so forth. And you see the collection is users, specimens, events, and then photos which is very similar to how our database is set up here. Users, specimens, and then events, and then optionally under the event we may have a photo as well. So set up just like that. But this time I'm going to use the debugger and I'm going to change a value. So you notice I've gone into the debugger view under this, the current object, and we have this thing called a specimen ID, which is that unique identifier. So I'm going to change the value uh, to simply empty string. So double quote, double quote. Different from null, if you did a null, you would actually get a null pointer exception. Notice I've just done empty string, so string with nothing in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose F8 a few times as it's walking down this path, and in just a moment, we're going to see it uh, catch an exception. Oh, there we go. Let's scroll down and look at what the exception says. I go to cause and I click on view and you see a very familiar error here, which is document references must have an even number of segments, but users blah, blah, blah specimens has three. Now, one thing I'll point out here is note we've gone from users to a specific user, then the specimens collection. And here it's looking for a specific specimen uh, that is attached to empty string, but there is none. So it says specimens has three. So I'm going to go ahead and choose F9, and what we'll see is that that will effectively uh, crash the program. So uh, that's the behavioral that you'll see if you're not actually looking at the exceptions. So we know the root cause is it's trying to walk from a document to a collection to a document collection, so on and so forth. And one of the document references is empty string. A common way that this can occur is that you need to save each of these documents before you save something to its collection. And you might have gotten this out of order. For example, in my case, I might be trying to save an event to a specimen, but I have not saved the specimen yet. Or I might be trying to save a photo to an event, but I have not saved the event yet, and that's why it has that empty string. So make sure that you're saving these in order, and also make sure that you are storing the document ID that you get back when you are saving it. I have a separate video that shows how to do that, but essentially this is the block where it's doing it. We're saving a document to Firebase Cloud Firestore. We get back a unique identifier for that document, 
and then we update the local object with that unique identifier so that we can then use that unique identifier as we're walking down this path. So that's oftentimes how you get to this point. Now, if you had a string that's not empty, but it doesn't match a current record in the database, many times Firebase Cloud Firestore will go ahead and create a document for you, as long as there's something in that string. If, if it's empty string though, that's when you see the error that we're discussing here. If it's null, we know you'll get a null pointer, which is a different kind of error. So that's the root cause. That's what often leads to the root cause. I sure hope this video has helped you to solve an issue, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.